Today, we're in the herd with softball as the ladies donning orange and blue are playing sound softball as they have won five of their last seven contests and are six games above 500 overall as they begin home and Patriot League play at Becker Field. Uh, the team's doing well, progressing nice. I, I'm proud of them for how they got through our non-conference and uh, very looking forward to our Patriot League opening play here. We've been doing a great job and to finally come to the games that count for Patriot Leagues uh, to see this is the real test. How are we going to do? And I know that what we've been doing so far has been so positive. And so to really build off that, it's really, really exciting. The team is not only prepared physically, but are also mentally tough. And they've been utilizing a sports psychologist. This gentleman, Brian Kane, has been working with a lot of colleges. Uh, we got introduced to him a few years back. He's taken some interest in us and, and the team did all of his training uh, this fall and they just loved it. And uh, right now, uh, there's a couple things like uh, what's important now and uh, preparing for what's important right now, playing in the present, uh, caring about the process over the outcomes, and, and definitely staying two feet ahead at all times. The most consistent player to date is two-way threat Amanda Fazio. She has started all 26 games and is second on the team, hitting at a tremendous 413 clip while boasting a 10 and 4 record on the bump with a very respectable 3.20 ERA. I think I've just my approach to the plate is a lot different. Like um, once you start getting on a roll with hitting, a lot of that comes with confidence. And I think just putting the ball in play for me uh, last year was really well, was a really good thing. And so now I'm working on you know putting the ball in play and getting on base. And once that starts rolling, you know it just really builds up and, and you see success. So. Fazio earned a second team all Patriot League selection her freshman year, but that was in large part due to her pitching. She has made an interesting adjustment since her sophomore year. After my freshman year, I hit right-handed. Um, and then after my freshman year, towards the end, we decided we'd switch me to the left side and try slapping. And so a lot of last year was really getting used to slapping and, and getting used to putting the ball down and running as fast as I could to first. So um, now that's really, I think, starting to come to form a little bit and uh, really improved over the last year. And it feels like I've been hitting left-handed for a while now. <laughs> Oh, she's just uh, extremely inspired and motivated, uh, athletic and driven. Uh, I, I don't know if she knows this, but back when she was a first year, she talked about uh, the College World Series and, and uh, her goals and her passions. And uh, I think she's just taken that on and said, hey, how can I help this program succeed? What can I do? And uh, and she stepped up to the plate. So we're proud of her on the on the field. We got to keep her healthy, and uh, her health is our priority. And I think that's why she's had the success. I, I always think she had the talent. Um, and then the offense, the offense has just been fun, and and that gets her to be a little bit more versatile, take a little bit more pressure off of her on the mound, and give her a chance in uh, the half innings to to help put runs on the board. Fazio thinks there's a distinct benefit to being a dual threat player. It's good to pitch and then come off the field and, and have a second to focus on something else. It kind of takes your mind off, you know, the pressure of pitching sometimes when you can just put your focus into something else for a few minutes and get that job done and then go out and get the next job done. So, yeah.